June is gonna be so sick. I've got a handful of books lined up for this month that I am super, super excited about. Now, for those of you who are new, I do my TBRs a little bit different than maybe is traditional because I'm the kind of person that I commit really easily to stuff. And so I like to say that TBR is more like stuff that's on my radar for this month. However, there are a few things that I am going to commit to and we're gonna start with those. The regulars on my channel will know that every single Wednesday, I jump on live um, at seven o'clock Mountain Standard Time and I test out a different book. What I mean by test out is I read the first chapter and I say cut and dry, is this a book I wanna read or no? There's five Wednesdays in June, so I'm gonna be knocking through five different books. First off on June 1st is The Stardust Thief. This is a brand new release that came out in May. I love the cover and I think this, the story sounds like a solid, really cool story. So I, I, I said, I can't wait. We're jumping into this right away. So I'm gonna see on June 1st whether this is a book for me or not. Next up on June 8th is The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. This book's been out for a long time. There's like spinoff series and stuff like that, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Next up on June 15th, I'm gonna be checking out The Kaiju Preservation Society by John Scalzi. I heard that this book is similar to Monster Hunter International and I really enjoyed that book. It was fun. Um, and the cover for this one is just too good to pass up. So we're going to be checking this one out June 15th. Don't miss it. Next up for June 22nd is Maximum Ride by James Patterson. I've read some James Patterson before. He writes really good thrillers. I'm excited to see what he does with a more YA fantasy type story. I've had this book for a while. A friend of mine told me that it was a good book and I picked it up and I just never got around to it. So it's time to knock it out of my TBR. The final live first impressions, first chapter critique that I'm gonna be doing is The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. This one's been on my radar for a long time, basically since I started my channel. I just watched a review for it by Alex Nieves and it brought it back onto my radar and I said, we're putting this on my TBR for this month. On these TBRs, I also like to give you guys a heads up of like what videos to expect this month. I just finished The Bands of Morning, so I'm hoping to get a video about that out soon. And I'm currently reading Arcanum Unbounded, Sort of, I'm not gonna finish it because I wanna wait till I read Stormlight to read all of the different stories in it. I started reading it because I guess there's a story in it that makes Bands of Mourning make more sense. So I wanted to read that before I started talking about Bands of Mourning on the channel. Um, for those of you who don't know, Arcanum Unbounded by Brandon Sanderson is a bunch of like novellas kind of mushed together. And I'm kind of wondering, do I want to feature Arcanum Unbounded on the channel or not? So I wanted to see what you guys thought. If you guys want to hear like just my general thoughts of Arcanum Unbounded or if you're interested in like individual stories, getting their own special video, or if you just don't care at all because who's Brandon Sanderson? Let me know in the comments about Arcanum Unbounded to tell me what to do. Finally, there's a handful of books that I came across this month that I'm throwing onto my eternal TBR. Top of the list is from one of my buddies here on BookTube, Pablo Suarez. He released his debut novel, The Broken Oath. It's going on my TBR, I wanna check it out sometime soon. If you haven't heard of Pablo, go check out his channel. He's got a really fun personality, really cool guy. Next up is a series called The Shattered Gods Saga by Chris Fox. I read one book by Chris Fox previously and ended up DNFing it. Um, so I'm not like super sure if I wanna check this book out, but what drew me into it is that it's a progression fantasy, which I had never heard of before. So I actually wanted to put another thing out to you guys. Have you read progression fantasy before? Did you like it? What's your favorite progression fantasy? And the big reason is I've never even heard of this. So I don't want this author that I've previously DNF'd to be my introduction to it. And potentially I just don't like the author and I never give the mini genre a chance. So hit me up with your progression fantasy suggestions down below. Next up is Discworld. I know there's several different places to like jump into Discworld the first time. So I personally just watched a video where somebody was talking about Mort, the Mort saga or whatever, and just sounded interesting. So um, I've decided that that's where I'm gonna start. 
Um, if you guys disagree that that's not a good place to start, let me know. What's your favorite Discworld? Um, this video better have a million comments because I've asked for so many. This next one has a really cool title, at least in my opinion. Honestly, it's pretty basic, but whatever. The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. Next up is Engines of Empire by R.S. Ford. I heard of this one watching Elliot Brooks. She's talked about it this month. And I don't know, it just sounds interesting. I want to check it out. Next up is The Pariah by Anthony Ryan. I think this book has like a sequel or like another book in the series coming out soon. I think that's how I found it. But this book sounds really interesting. It's about an outlaw who wants to seek vengeance and joins the king's army. Not sure all of the politics and stuff involved in that, but sounds cool. Cover looks cool. I'm down for assassins. Another one that I found that has another book coming out in the series is The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. It's based on like the history and epics of India and I'm not very familiar with that so it'll be interesting to like expand my world a little bit. Next up is City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett. I'll be honest, I don't remember why this book sounded interesting to me. I heard about it forever ago. I think it was on the podcast Writing Excuses and I just never got it on my TBR and it popped up somewhere at some point. I don't even remember how recently. It just reminded me to add it to my list and so that's going on. Um, if you've read it, remind me why it's good. Oh, the next book is actually how I got um, City of Stairs back on my radar. I came across the series Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett as well. The cover looks cool, the story sounds cool, a thief trying to get some like cool magical artifact. Um, I'm in. I want to check this one out. The next one is Half a King by Joe Abercrombie. I am really into like dark assassins lately. Um, so I think I think this is another one of those like dark assassins seek revenge. I feel like like four of these books that I've thrown on have been like that. So apparently I'm just on like a revenge assassin kick right now. So don't offend me. The final one is The Grey Bastards by Jonathan French. These covers for the entire series draw me in so intense. These characters look like they're just gonna be sick, all out, cutthroat. Like I said, I'm on like a murder, revenge, dart, assassin kick lately. If you've read any of these books, especially the ones that I just threw out at the end, let me know in the comments what you thought about them. And I really hope you guys are able to make it to my lives. Hit that notification button so you don't miss them. I will see you guys in the next adventure, which you're actually gonna click on right now in the middle of your screen.